Hello my dear people and welcome to my channel. I'm so so excited today about my today's recipe and yes you read it correctly Armenian sushi. Yes the heading is something not traditional but I am going to make a traditional Armenian dish today. I named it Armenian sushi. It is not uh, called sushi. It is called dolma with rice. M many of you may heard about dolma Many people from around the world make this dish, uh, the original version from raw meat, but uh, this one is vegan and this is with rice. It's also a very yummy, very interesting recipe. It is uh, similar to sushi and I'm going to use grape leaves here instead of nori leaves. Yes, this is not connected, not at all connected with Japanese Asian cuisine and I will show you right now the, all the ingredients so firstly let me tell you that this recipe is customized with my taste I'm not going to use onion as it's traditionally used I'm going to use this, this kind of round and sticky rice as Japanese cuisine as it is used in sushi I will also use Aleppo pepper black pepper, black grounded pepper. I will use fresh mint. You can also use dry mint, uh, have fresh and we'll use it. Olive oil, tomato sauce. I will write the ingredients below in the description box and I will use also salt. But note that I'm uh, going to use canned, canned grape leaves and uh, the importance here is that they are all already salty, no, so I'm not going to use too much salt here. Little bit salt, not to make this food too salty. I will start by uh, putting this into plate. Uh -huh, there, look how beautiful my grape leaves are. So I will put this aside. And then I will add two cups, two big cups of hot water into my rice and cover the, the lid and left it aside for about 10-15 minutes. One. This is enough. I will stir this, cover it and let it rest about 10-15 minutes. Now my dears, my rice looks like this. Uh, the water is soaked already, little water is left, but it is good. So I will let the water in it. I will add the tomato sauce, little by little, and stir the rice. This is the easiest process of all this <laughs> story. Then I will add my red pepper, black pepper, salt. I'm not using too much salt because my grape leaves are canned, again I'm telling you. Um, and they contain already salt. With a good, a very good stir. And I will chop the mint leaves. By the way, mint does a great job in this recipe. It gives a very amazing taste to this kind of dolma. And I know many of you will ask how to find the grape leaves in the stores. If you live in Europe, in America or in Asia especially, you cannot find it in regular stores. But if you live in Greek, you can find also in Greek st stores, Armenian stores, if you have it in your city, or mm, Turkey stores, you can find great leaves easily. But the canned ones. Mm -hmm. So, my mint leaves, and I will give this a good stir and we'll pass to the main and the most, most difficult part of this whole recipe. And don't forget about the olive oil. Not too much, a little bit here. And we will add olive oil also in the end before cooking. 
I will give this a good stir and I will pass the most difficult process in this whole recipe. I will put this aside for 5 minutes and will continue my job with my grape leaves. Mm -hmm. This is like a heart, <laughs> a heart shape, grape leaf. And my rice looks like this. The water is almost, almost soaked, almost evaporated, but I will continue like this because I need the rice in this way. And I will continue with the wrapping process. Uh, so this wrapping process takes a lot of time, about 30 minutes, but be patient and keep going and I will uh, talk to you after wrapping all this rice. You just enjoy the process. My dear people, I have finished my wrapping process. I have two layers of uh, this filling. Uh, my rice is over, but I have some grape leaves left. You can store this in the freezer and use it for the next time when you make this amazing dolma. And uh, then I will add some olive oil on top. It will soak on the bottom will stock to the bottom. I will cover this uh, with a regular plate. This is done because of the boiling process. I want I don't want all the all my wrappings move when they are boiling because we are not going to stir them. We are going to leave them as they are and I in the end I will add water and cover until the this plate is covered. Let me show you pour the water so a little bit more and this my plate is covered and I'm closing the lid and see you after mm, about 30 to 40 minutes my dears they are ready oh my god they smell amazing. Let me put this into the plate. This kind of... They are amazing. One more not dear. They are hot. They need to be consumed cold. So you can wait them until they come to the room temperature and place them into the fridge and consume them, eat them when they are cold, let me cut one of them and show you the result. Voila! Look how pretty. They are so, so yummy. And I'm sure if you tried once, you will fall in love with them and you want will want to try them one and one more time look at them they are pretty they are yummy but they are a little bit hot they really worth the hard work i did so dears try to make this on your own and please share it with me with your results, with your opinions, because that is very, very important for me. And one more note for me, never try to eat grape leaves when they are raw. They should be eaten, cooked, 
because in that case you will have stomach aches and other kind of stomach problems. Thank you very much my dear people for watching this amazing recipe. This is vegan, by the way, if you are vegan you can try this dish as a lunch or as a dinner, but uh, in a cold way, because when they become cold they become more amazing. Trust me. <laughs> and see you next time with another amazing recipe.